back to my channel. So do you ever wonder what does the text message really mean from him? I thought it'd be fun to film a video on what his text messages really mean also known as text messages not to respond to. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just jump right into it. Let's start off with simple things first. Let's start off with the simple hey, the simple sup, and the simple yo. What does this mean? This could mean a few things. The first thing that comes to mind is a poor attempt. He's thinking about you, but he's not gonna put enough effort into it to start a conversation right off, right away. Like, hey, how are you? Or sup, how's your day going? Something like that. But if you're interested, reply. If you're not, then don't even bother. Text messages, can I come over or come over? This means he's horny. I'm gonna be the first one to say it because if you're just having like a conversation with him and then all of a sudden he's like come over it's just like unless you're like a boyfriend girlfriend relationship like you're comfortable with him and you understand his lingo and if you just start talking to him then this is just like I want sex come over. One guy um, was texting me one time and I he got my number like a long time ago and then like half a year later like basically like a year later he started talking to me and then he's like come over and I'm just like so don't respond to this text message unless you're interested in a last minute fling. How are you is the next text message we're gonna talk This one is an in-betweener. I find it nice and cute. When a guy likes a girl, his mind might get jumbled while he's texting you. Or he might not just be a good text. Well, I would respond back to this one. He might not be as boring as we think. <laughs> next text message, what are you doing? You've got a curious puppy on your hand. If he texts, calls and leaves a voicemail wondering what you're doing this means he thinks you're on your device at all times and super needy and wants to know what you're doing at all times give it some time don't respond back to this one right away you don't want him to be too clingy i had a great time last night oh one gets me every time i just don't know like whenever i get a text message like this if they saw me the night before and they're just like i had a great time just, I find it so cute and so adorable. This is the verify text. It normally comes after a first date. Reply back saying how much fun you had, if you had fun of course, and how you would love to do it again soon. And this is the verification that he was looking for. Next text messages, can I have a pic? This one pisses me off. Especially when they like say, can I have a nude pic? Like, really? This means he wants your body. Rich, you really don't want someone like that. You want someone who will love you for you and not for your body. So unless you feel comfortable, then never ever send a nude picture to a guy because you really don't know what he's gonna do with it. He could end up blackmailing everyone with your nude pictures. I normally do is like when somebody asks for a picture myself and I don't really wanna send them a picture but I don't wanna like end the conversation even though you kinda lose all respect for a guy when they ask you for a picture. But if you don't wanna end the conversation and you just kinda wanna make it funny, what I normally do is I send a picture of a black screen and that's all I send them is a pitch black screen, like just built black. And it, it works, it's so funny. And this one guy said to me, he's like, oh, I didn't get the picture, so I like sent it again. And then he's like, I still didn't get it. And then I'm like, sorry, my beauty must have broken your phone. It's a conceited moment. The next text message is thinking of you. If this comes from a guy that you have been talking to or you're friends with and he's trying to get in a relationship with you, then that's really sweet. But if this is coming from some random guy that you gave him not your number to and then all of a sudden he randomly writes thinking of you, it's a little creepy. If this comes from a random guy that keeps texting and calling you, I would think twice about replying to this baby. This one time I gave my number to a guy, he literally wrote to me and it, you don't, I mean like sometimes I give my number out just because it's like you don't want to get people like, you don't want them there anymore and I, I know if you don't want to give your number out to somebody you just like change the last digit of your phone number like, oh sorry. This one guy, he was really creepy. He called me so many times and then all of a sudden he was like, I want you. Like it was, it was really creepy because like I never talked to him that much at all. We never like, I mean like we talked over the phone like once, like right after I met him he called me and it was really creepy and then he just like kept calling me and calling me and then all of a sudden one night he was like, it was like 2 o'clock in the morning he was like, I want you and just like. If you end up giving your number out to a guy and he ends up being crazy, it's okay to lose his number. Oops. Good morning. 
when a guy sends a text like this, it's just, it's another one of those texts that's just like, get me. Like, I don't know. I just love text messages like that. Like, waking up to a text like that is just, I love it. When a guy sends a random text like this, even on the weekday, it means he's thinking about you right when he wakes up, which is so cute. This is the perfect amount of flirting for a new relationship. Waking up to a text like this is heartwarming. I mean, like, I'll give in, even from a random guy, if I wake up to a text like this. I just love the morning text. So, you know how to get my heart. Good morning text. So the last but not least text message that I'm gonna talk about, are you a virgin? Or, how far have you gone with a guy? Why does it matter to you? This is over the phone with a guy that you just met. This means he wants you just for sex. Like, who cares? Why do you need to know? Okay, like, and normally if somebody asks me this, I normally, if I want to continue talking to them, I bypass the question or just never write back. I can close my video on the meaning behind what a guy really means when he texts you. If you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, definitely go right ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. And I would love to know your opinion on what you think these text messages mean. And if you ever got an awkward text message, because some messages are just so sweet and others are just like, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a big old thumbs up if you did. Also, be sure to subscribe because I upload new videos every single Saturday like this or other random videos that you don't want to miss. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support. And I love you guys millions. So today I am here with a video on how to curl your hair without any heat. You don't need any heat at all. Like